pretty early, but we're gonna go ahead and go to the skate park before anybody wakes up. <clears throat> I'll see you at the skate park in a flash. All right, here we are. We beat the sun by about five minutes, then it's gonna rise at 721. It's about 77, partly cloudy, 95% humidity, fantastic. Let's go get it. I haven't had any coffee, nothing to eat yet this morning, so I'm just gonna have to get warmed up and energized the old fashioned way by moving my body. I love coming out here first thing in the morning though, a couple of reasons, absolutely nobody here, and it's a great way to start the day. Get all those endorphins flowing first thing in the morning and then the rest of the day feels like a breeze. However, that usually comes at a price, and most mornings that price is added humidity. I think this morning we're gonna see a lot of the obstacles at the skate park are pretty soggy and wet from the morning dew. Either way, we're gonna make something work, and I brought a towel if necessary. Gonna stomp our feet. Get that sand out. And I feel like sometimes, usually the best course of action is to just take your shoes off completely and give them a good old whack. First thing in the morning, I gotta make sure I do at least a little bit of stretching, you know, just sort of loosen up my muscles. It's always so peaceful and quiet in the mornings. Have the entire park to yourself. Let's see how this mani pad looks. There's a little bit of moisture, but not too terrible. It's 723, so the sun has just come above the horizon technically indicating sunrise. So in about five or 10 minutes, you'll start to see it poke up over these trees here. And then once it's high enough to actually create some sunlight on the skate park, you're gonna see a lot of the obstacles start to dry up. But that does take roughly an hour to two hours first thing in the morning. So we may not see them completely dry in their entirety, but it'll be something at least. I think about doing something different for warming up this morning. Usually I'll just ride around the park and just do a few pushes, but they built this pump track roughly six to eight months ago, and I have never skated it since it's been here. So I figured maybe we ought to do that today. Now let's just go for it. Last corner there is pretty steep. All right, I think we can do it better. I don't know if I like that one there. <laughs> I suppose it's a good way to warm up the muscles. All right, we're gonna give it one more go around and see if we can make this one the best one yet. I suppose that red line has something to do with where you're supposed to aim to maximize your speed output. So, let's see if we can stick to the red line and loop around a couple times. Yeah, 
that's a good bit of fun, but I think that's about as much fun as I'm gonna have. I think I'm gonna dry off a couple of the obstacles here. Some of these ledges. You know what, this one is dry already, okay. Slippery. <laughs> That rail usually stays nice and smooth. See how this mani pad is grinding this morning. Not bad, not bad. Five O's, five O's. Backside. Backside flip. That's front side. 360 flip. Front side flip. Big boy. That's big boy status right there. Big boy status. Hey, that's gonna do it for that skate session this morning. Not gonna lie, I'm feeling a bit sluggish. That's the thing with the morning skate sessions. It really depends on how well you slept the night before, what time you went to bed and all that kind of stuff. And I stayed up kind of late last night, didn't sleep all too well. So I'll attribute my lack of energy this morning at the skate park to that. But either way, it's still great to get up, get out of bed, get moving pretty early in the morning. Now I'm gonna go home, make some coffee and get some food in me.